What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Got another movie reaction for you. And it's another big franchise that we have never seen before. Nope. Mission Impossible. <laughs> Had no idea. Mission Impossible. We've never seen it. So let's start a reaction series to all of them, maybe. We'll see how far we get. You know, having this reaction channel made me realize that I haven't seen as many Tom Cruise movies as I thought I have. Well, which is kind I of interesting. I saw, like, all the romantic ones. Figured, of course. But, I mean, Edge of Tomorrow was an amazing movie. Yeah. We, we obviously did a reaction to Maverick, which was amazing. I and mean, here Top Gun we, is glorious, too. Yeah, and here we are now with Mission Impossible. So, if you guys didn't know, we do movie night live every single week with the community. Right here on this channel, we have an absolute blast live streaming with y'all. It's a great time. I tell dad jokes and give you the whole movie night watch along spiel. Yeah, if you heard, haven't heard her spiel, you need to come just for that. It's fun. But we have a great time streaming with y'all. If you didn't know, also, we got a Patreon, and we post full reactions to all of our movie reactions to that links down below if you're into that whole thing but here we go 45 movies of mission impossible you ready oh my god let's go Gordon Bombay. The name now, give us the name. What was she doing in the background? Honestly, there? what Putting, is she doing like, in the background? Eye drops. It's dead time. What a setup they have. Holy shit. That's wild. Oh, God. Oh, gross. Ooh, yeah. That was, that was a thick needle. That was... It was thick with two C's. He looks like a baby. It's like Top Gun Tom Cruise. Okay, I know the music. Yeah, I definitely know the song. For sure. <laughs> wow, look how old school that friggin' logo was. Yeah, <laughs> what is that? I, I, what is that? Is that an 8 track? <laughs> <laughs> Also, a traitor. The portion that Galitzin already has contains code names, but this half is useless without its mate, which matches the code names with their true name. Jack Harmon can hack into any security system. Hannah Williams will handle surveillance. Your wife Claire will cover transport. And Ethan Hunt. Ethan Hunt. As always, should you or any member of your IM force be caught, the secretary will disavow all knowledge of your actions. This tape will self-destruct in five seconds. Oh. I'm sorry, did you say self-destruct? That's, that's where this is from. Wow, look at that shit. On a plane. Smoking on a plane. I mean, back then. I remember that used to be normal. a thing. You used to smoke yeah. in hospitals and all kinds of stuff, didn't you? There's... There were ashtrays. That's on, right. There were the, ashtrays. In the armrests. That's wild. You're going into the embassy in character during a party. Hide in plain sight. Highest possible profile. Wouldn't have it any other way. He is. He's fucking maverick right now. Jack. Yeah. Fingerprint security. There's access through the elevator shaft. So I guess I'm not wearing my tux. <laughs> Anything goes wrong, I call abort. Everybody walk away. Regroup here at 4 a.m. That's 0400. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get a cappuccino machine in here? Oh, okay. Oh, we missed you in Kiev, Jim. Missed you too. Ethan. Are we off on one of your cushy recruiting assignments again? Yeah, where'd they put you up this time? Drake Hotel, Chicago. He's getting soft in his old age. Yeah, he is. Look at him. <laughs> Rude. 
If that list gets out into the open, the names of our agents in every country in Eastern Europe will be up for grabs to the highest bidders. If they're exposed, they'll be executed. Shit. Camera built right into the bridge. Whatever you see, it sees. And then it's uh, that's not obvious as hell or what? Hey, technology was a little different back then. <laughs> no? No. Red light, green light. You mash them together. <laughs> Asta lasagna, don't get any on you. Asta lasagna, don't get any on you. I'm using that. I'm using it. I love, like, the spy shit. Yes. Or it's like, here's a piece of gum that can serve as an explosive device for you. Got it. <laughs> so would that gum, like, explode someone's head if they, like... I would assume. If you're like, oh, hey, here's a stick of gum, enemy. <laughs> I hope that's something we could see, because that would be awesome. What are those two? <laughs> That's cool. Your advanced team mentioned that you'd like a tour of the facility, so I've gone ahead and set one up. Excuse me. I'm like, can you not spray shit on me, please? I know, bitch. What the fuck? What are you doing? Oh, God. <gasps> bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. So, oh, shit. Uh-uh. You wouldn't catch me. That is some bullshit right there. Uh-uh. <laughs> Claustrophobic much? Stuck between the friggin' elevator like that? Hell no. <laughs> Oh my god. Good thing he's a little guy. Governor's in position now. Now, Sergeant, why are you not in your uniform this evening? We've been ordered to wear civilian clothes this evening, sir. Tell me, Senator, do you not have someone on your staff named Jack? We did have a Jack. An unreliable fellow, as I recall, constantly late. <laughs> That's so fucked up. Just in time. <laughs> this is fun so far. It is. Jack. Jack. I didn't touch it. Oh shit. I'm opening the doors. Go under. Oh shit. <gasps> Bitch! Oh <laughs> fuck no. Mrs. Doubtfire. No, with the masks, <laughs> uh-uh. Floppy disk? Look at that. Hey! Jack, what are you doing? I'm not doing anything. Oh my god. I don't have control, Jack. Oh, then I got a problem. Oh my god. This is like That's fucking speed, shot. right? Wasn't it? They were in the <laughs> fucking elevator shaft and shit? <gasps> no! Oh my god, no! Oh my god, no! Oh my god, no! Oh, oh. my god! Emilio did not make it that far in this movie. Holy shit. Jack. Jack, you copy. Oh my god. Why did it have the... Th Why did it have spikes? This was, a f this was on purpose they knew. Was it like a defense mechanism that was set up? Oh shit. I did not see that coming. Holy shit. I mean, it definitely feels like a... Like a trap. The package is out in the open. Unroped. I didn't think Jack was gonna die like that so fast. No. I've got a shadow. Can you lose him? No. Abort. Negative. The Litson is on the move. No, damn it, no! I said abort! Is there an eye in the package, Jim? I'm coming to you. Jim gave an abort. We should walk away. No, we are going to recover that disc. Shit. I feel like something bad's gonna happen to her now, too, because she's following the dude. He fucking knows. 
I think there's potential for a lot of bad now, especially if they are being ambushed. They're covering this frequency. Cut all radio communication. Or is he in on it? Okay, maybe he's not in on it. What the hell? This is sus. Uh, just a little, yeah. That scared the fuck out of me. The whole team. What the fuck? Oh no. <laughs> Someone else has the disc. Yeah. Oh uh -oh. shit. Well, this is all falling apart. Holy shit. Well, shit. A payphone. Do we still have those? Probably somewhere. This is Ethan Hunt. They're dead. My team. My team is dead! They knew we were coming, man. They knew we were coming, and the disc is gone. Let's just bring you in safely, and then we'll worry about that, okay? Okay, location green, one hour. I'll be there myself. That feels sus also. It's like, I gotta fucking wait an hour? With all this shit going down, my whole team's dead, and I gotta just wander around and hope I don't die? Is it a fish tank about a restaurant? Pretty fancy setup. And the fish tank inside a restaurant also, because the one above it is not enough. <laughs> Just saying. I can't tell you how uh, sorry I am. You seem hell-bent on blaming yourself, Ethan. Who else is left? Why was there another team? Of IMF agents at the embassy tonight. I don't quite follow you. Uh oh. Let's we'll see if you can follow me around the room. The drunk Russians on the embankment at seven, eight o'clock. The couple waltzing around me at the embassy at nine and eleven. The waiter standing behind Hannah at the top of the stairs. Bow tie, twelve o'clock. You're worried about me. Why? Very observant, huh? Two years, we've been spotting serious blowback in IMF operations. We have a penetration. Oh, can't have a penetration. Operation he referred to as Job 314, the job he thought Galitzin was doing tonight. I like this camera angle during the conversations. Me too. But the list Galitzin stole was a decoy. That's correct. The actual list is secure at Langley. Galitzin was a lightning rod. He was one of ours. This whole operation was a moment. That's not good. Mole, 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 mole. Holy moly. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> that's fucked. The mole's deep inside. Can't be removed, apparently. The mole that deep? Dying slowly in America, after all, can be a very expensive proposition. I can understand you're very upset. Kittredge, you've never seen me very upset. <laughs> you have brought it, cajoled, and killed, and you have done it using. You throw the gum up? I don't know. The fish! You dicks! <laughs> <gasps> I really wanted to see someone chew that gum. I thought he was going to blow up the fish tank above them. Oh, no, oh, it did, too. Did. Oh, it shit. It did, too. 
<laughs> oh no. That's a lot of water and fish. Oh, look at the fish is just flopping around. That was, those are like koi fish in there. I mean. Fuckers. I oh, man. <laughs> I don't think any real fish were harmed in filming of this movie. Y'all suck. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a start to this movie. This is cool. Honestly. It's a good place to hide your gun. The other day, we decoded a message on the internet from a Czech we know as Max. He got himself in a position to buy our knocklist, operation he referred to as Job 314. Ever since somebody pointed out, like, the, the his two front teeth don't line up with his nose. <laughs> it's impossible to not see it. Right? I would have never thought about the Bible. That's why he's in the position he's in, and I'm not. <laughs> You've got mail. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, what? What are you doing? He's the mole, right? He's gotta be. Is he sleeping? He's having a nightmare. Ethan. Oh, what the hell? Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Shut up! I saw you, you were in. I ran to the bridge. He said someone was just... Give me that. There was nobody on the bridge. What happened to Jim? Wake up, Claire! Jim's dead! They're all dead! Who sent you for me? Jim's dead. Who sent you here? Why should hear for her face all of a sudden? Continuity, come on. Who sent you? <laughs> Who sent you for me? Who's the they send you. No one sent me. No one sent me. We were supposed to be back here at four o'clock. Four o'clock if we were bored. We don't return here until four o'clock. Oh, four hundred, four a.m. Four o'clock, even four o'clock. Damn. I mean, I feel like he's going to be very intense when he sees anybody from the job. Yeah. I actually think I killed Jim and everyone else. Somehow, $100,000 finds its way into my parents' bank account. Ethan, you're not making any sense. I can't find him, but if he knows I have a knock list, he'll find me. I'm going to go in, and I'm going to talk to Kittredge myself, and I'm going to tell him you had nothing to do with it. If you're not dead, he's going to assume you're with me. That's right. And I'm going to answer it. I wonder if the, like, Bourne movies... Got have their anything inspiration to do? Yeah. from Mission Impossible. Those I have not seen either, but you have. Mm -hmm. You've seen the Bourne Identity movies? Yeah. Would you remove your hat, please? You wish to meet Max? The price of admission. Oh my. Is that a dirty sock? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Just a oh! really horrible looking mask. What is it? Scarecrow. <laughs> I thought I was going to see Max. You misunderstood. No one sees Max. It's like a really poorly made Venom mask. Venom. If Max doesn't like what you have to say, you'll be wearing that shroud indefinitely. Got it. Very well. You've messed up my hair, bitch. Who are you and what are you doing here? I need $150,000. What? So <laughs> really? <laughs> Why not? You gave Job 125. The disc Job sold you. It's worthless. It's bait. Part of an internal mole hunt. You gotta love it when he gets cocky. It's just, you know, very maverick of him. <laughs> I don't know Job any more than Job knows me. Even so, I'm sure you could arrange an introduction. 
Why should I? Because I can deliver the actual knock list. The one you have is not only worthless, it's certain to be equipped with a homing device to pinpoint your exact location. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's easy to say the disc is worthless when you say I can't look at the information and see if it's worthless. Not a tenable position, sir. Use it, but I'd suggest you pack first. Let's say you've got about two minutes. I'm like, how are you going to pull this off if, if it's not true? I mean, I think he has his ways. 44 and 45. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, vacuum's not even on. <laughs> How many identities do you think Hunt has? How many times has he slipped past customs and how many countries? These guys are trained to be ghosts. We taught them to do it for Christ's sake. <laughs> I know where I know him from. He was Artie in Schitt's Creek. This he guy? owned an RV. Yes! It always goes back to Schitt's Creek. It or, always does. Or a new girl. Mm -hmm. Always. Sorry I doubted you. Dear boy, you are a good sport. What was your deal with Job? Um, six million dollars. I'll give you the same, but I want the complete list now, not just Eastern Europe. I won't do this piecemeal, it's too dangerous. It's a bumpy ass road. Ten million in negotiable US Treasury certificates and bearer form coupons attached. And one more thing your personal assurance that Job will be at the exchange. Ooh. Interesting. Max made a deal with you? I deliver the knock list. Max delivers Job. You said it yourself. If I'm not dead, I'm with you. Jim was my husband. I want to get the son of a bitch who did this. If Jim's dead. Yeah. Rule number one, don't see a body. Can't confirm the death. I mean, if I was Ethan, I wouldn't trust anybody. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell oh, yeah! Oh, shit! <laughs> Dude, this is such a great cast. Honestly. Four players. Xfil opens the pocket. Cyberops lifts the wall. In Langley. In Langley? The one in Virginia, Langley. Inside CIA headquarters at Langley. Is he serious? Always. <laughs> what are we downloading? Information. What kind? Profitable. <laughs> um, thanks. What did they used to call you? The Net Ranger? Phineas Freak. Looks like a baby too. This is the Mount Everest of hacks. You're all kidding yourselves. Even with top of the line crypto, free access, do three. Trigger can get it, right? May take a little time. What the hell do you mean a little time? It's not what Claire tells me about you. Thinking machine laptops. I'm talking about the 686 prototypes with the artificial intelligence risk chip. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I get to keep the equipment when we're done. Luther, I guess you're getting excited excuses. about like techie shit. Okay. <laughs> I just can't hack my way inside. See, there's no modem access to the mainframe. It's in what we call a standalone. I'd have to be physically at the terminal. Relax, Luther. It's much worse than you think. <laughs> the terminal is in a black vault lockdown. The only person allowed in the room has to pass through a series of security checks. The first is a voice print identification and a six digit access code. This only gets him into the outer room. Next, he has to pass a retinal scan. Oh God. Just the sounds that go along with a retinal scan, it sounds <laughs> awful. Inside the black vault, there are three systems operating whenever the technician is out of the room. Ocean's 11, definitely. Took from totally, us. Totally. Well, actually, Ocean's Eleven. There was an original Ocean's Eleven back in the day, but the newer one. The body heat of an unauthorized like person that. will trigger it if the temperature rises just a single degree. Now that temperature is controlled by the air conditioning coming in through an overhead duct thirty feet above the floor. That vent is guarded by a laser net. Solid. Solid. A piece of cake. The third system is on the floor. Luther is, is not having this. 
the slightest increase in weight will trigger the alarm. And any one of these systems, if set off, will activate an automatic lockdown. Believe me when I tell you, gentlemen, all three systems are state of the art. Wow, even a drip. <laughs> and you really think we can do this? We're going to do it. And there's the music. <laughs> Where was this filmed? It's so lush. I think they said Virginia, right? We picked up alarms in sector 3, 7, and 12. What sector is the air condition? 21, there's no alarm in sector 21. Sorry, but nobody gets into any sector where an alarm hasn't gone off. No one goes into any sector where the alarm hasn't gone off, and it hasn't gone off in 21. Wait. <laughs> it's Oops. gone off. Let's go. <laughs> Let's move. <laughs> Because that, that timing wouldn't be sus at all, right? No, not at all. No suspicious activity at all. It's Google. They're always listening. I love these type of elaborate yeah. spy kind of missions that people always go on. It's like you have all these steps. They all sound absolutely impossible. And That's here we why go. it's called Mission Impossible. Exactly. Hey, there were three of you. Was the other guy. Oh, oh. Zero body count. Oh shit, he was ready to fucking kill the guy. Oh my god. <laughs> no hesitation at all. <laughs> Very quick. <laughs> I mean, Leon the professional, he's an assassin. Dude, if somebody sat that fucking close to me, I'd be like, bitch, get the fuck off me. I don't know, I think it helps that she's an attractive Gorgeous. woman. Yeah. And he might not be as back up. <laughs> I don't care, even if like if... I just love how sneaky she was just like Bleh! squirts it in there. Able to get that in the drink. And again, it was a different time back then. People probably didn't have as much of an issue sitting next to each other. If it's not COVID. I mean, you've seen so many movies at this point of people crawling through the air ducts and stuff. Like, can you legitimately have multiple grown adults crawling through those things without them breaking or falling? I always wondered about that. I've never tested it myself. Well, there was this time in New Girl when <laughs> they let a badger go in the air ducts. I mean, they looked strong and sturdy. Like, no one else is, like, in that break room, like... Why? What are you doing? People just going about their own business. No big deal. Like, she was able to, like, squirt into his drink and put Touch a him. bug on him. Like, if I can't... Like, if we were sitting... Like, I didn't know you. I would sit up, like, all up on you and be like... I'd probably Sup? be happy about it. What? You'd be happy about it? If you came and sat next to me all close? Yeah. You're sweet. Shut up. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, what? <laughs> I want one of those. That is cool as hell. The fuck? <laughs> that would help so fucking much. What? Okay, Luther, I'm going in. Everest man. Oh my god, he's sweating. <gasps> Can you not sneeze in my ear, please? I think I have seen something about this before. The white room, him dropping in, yes. This is one of those iconic things that I've seen somewhere on the internet before. I don't know what happens, but I've seen him do this. So quiet. It's so wild, the temperature, too. Like... Oh, bitch. Hell no. He is struggling. I mean, even with a good pulley system, it's still a human being <laughs> that you're lowering into a room that has temperature gauge, a floor that you can't even drop a drip of water on. I'd probably be struggling, too. He's at the voice train corridor. William Donlow. 
<clears throat> Looks like he's going to have to go make a toilet run soon, though. Right? This was, um, what was it, Hangover? Did she put Visine in his drink? Oh, that was uh, Wedding Crashers. Wedding Crashers. Oh, wow. The, that room is literally impenetrable. <clears throat> <laughs> and he's struggling. <laughs> this is amazing. But I would have, like, that sense of, like, you know, when someone's in your presence. Yeah. Like, you feel like you're being watched. Yeah. Oh. I would probably be pooping my pants, even if I was as trained and skilled as Ethan is in this moment. Yeah. Shh, be very quiet. Everybody be quiet. Shh. Shh. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Uh, yes, um, Ocean's Eleven for sure. This scene is so well done. The anxiety is just cranked up so I. <laughs> Ew, did you puke in the sink, bro? <laughs> Holy sh... Dude, that would be... Again, I don't care how skilled and talented and prepared and whatever you are, that still would feel very, very nerve-wracking. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Holy he's shit. struggling. He's like, fuck, dude. Like, Tom Cruise isn't a big dude, but it's still a human. Big enough. <laughs> Full-grown adult. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Meanwhile, Tom Cruise is taking his sweet ass time. I mean, oh, oh my no. god, no. Not a fucking rat. <laughs> There's a rat. Adorable. But I mean, I don't also, think. Also, you're not supposed to be here, bud. I don't think computers necessarily move that quickly back then, also. So that doesn't help. Oh, word. I mean, even though that looks like a supercomputer for that time. Oh, hell on earth, no. Ma'am, go back home. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> this is so intense. Oh, hell no. <gasps> look at his face, look at his face, look at his face, look at his face. <laughs> oh, hell no. Okay, now I have the full context of that moment. <laughs> I had no idea what that was. Bitch, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> oh, he looks like green. He is not feeling good. Clearly whatever she put in his drink really Working. messed him up. <laughs> oh no, you're sweating. That's why they showed us the condensation from the cup earlier. Oh no, oh no, just catch it, just catch it. <laughs> Pull him up, dude. Oh, oh shit. Oh my god, there's more. Look at you. Is that the fault? Do they need to work on the pulley system? Wait, why is the rat dead? How did the rat die? Did he kill it? Is that what he did when he let go of the rope? Four yards. Toast. Toast. Oh, shit. <gasps> Why'd you even have the knife out, bro? Is that what he used to kill the... Oh, shit. 
this is this is so good. <laughs> oh my god. It's a dope ass knife. Yup. Oh shit. You fucked. You fucked. Oh man. But also, what happened to the rat? He killed it. But like. He let go of the rope and did something to it to kill it. He had to have. In a matter of a millisecond when he grabbed him? I mean, enough time for him to like fall. <laughs> this is so good. Yeah, look at that fire truck. It's cool as hell. He's all proud of himself. You fucker, you dropped a knife. You contacting your buyer? Ethan. He's like, shut up, dude. <laughs> Ethan. Oh my god. Shh. I mean, he's not responding. I would keep asking too, probably. Excuse me, Mr. Hand. <laughs> oh, okay. You're not going to any meeting without me. My contact is extremely shy. I don't think you're in any position to give orders. Not why I'm holding this. Don't you mean this? That's not the least. You've never seen this trick. <laughs> That's awesome. That's why he had two. Where'd it go? Let's go. Again, he's not gonna trust anybody. You... No. No. Oh, <laughs> oh, he does close-up magic also. <laughs> he's an acrobatic, he's a master of disguise, he could do magic. Jeez. I was thinking back in the computer room, I was up here, he was he was down there. Yes, and he was. was <laughs> I love it. Discs. It's so hard to keep track of these things. Where is it? He's like five steps ahead. Do you actually think I'd let you have the knock list? Try any slight hand with my money, I'll cut your throat. Oh, shit. All right, well. Hotel in Chicago. They're in London right now. Drake Hotel, Chicago. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to try and get some sleep. But he sold that Bible from the last place they were in in Prague. So I'm not connecting the dots yet. He figured something out. Though. No, to he he's doing great. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing fantastic. Me, I'm not smart enough for this. Oh, he did have the knockless. Oh, shit. He <laughs> Krieger did have the knockless? Oh, shit. I want you to hold on to it. That's awesome. <laughs> that whole act that he just played. Worked. That's awesome. I love it. <laughs> the operation was masterminded by Margaret Ethan Hunt and her brother in law, Donald. Oh, shit. Those are his families. In a major sting operation designed to expose the illegal manufacture of the drug methcathinone. She looks like Amelia Clark. I've been thinking that since we very first put eyes on her that she looks just like well, Amelia Clark. She's Amelia Clark looks like her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I get it. You know what I mean. <laughs> You're picking up what I'm putting down. You get it. Kidridge. I see you've been out visiting the folks. It's Hunt. What do you need for a pinpoint? For you to not talk so loud over your hand <laughs> so that he can hear you. Hauling mom off to jail in shackles was an especially nice touch. He's in England. Get in my five. 
Did you just ask for MI5? I don't know. Just a thought. <laughs> yeah, not very subtle. If you're dealing with someone who's crushed, stabbed, shot, and detonated, five members of his own IMF team, how devastated do you think you're going to make him by marching Ma and Uncle Donald down to the county courthouse? I don't know, Ethan. Austin. Damn it. 30 seconds. Keep him on the phone for 30 seconds. Oh, shit! You're a hard man to catch up with. <laughs> No body, not dead. I still think he's suspect. I do too. For I think sure. he's absolutely sus. I saw who shot me. I saw them all. It was Kittredge. Kittredge is the one. Oh my god, of course you're right. He was at the embassy that night. This. First he took out Jack at the elevator. So it's him. I mean, the fact that he had override controls of like the elevator stuff made it kind of obvious. Yeah. Very smart because he knew he had the camera. He must have had backup take out Kalitsin and Sarah's defense. Oh, oh shit! So it wasn't clear. Why, Jim? <laughs> he knows what's up. When you think about it, Ethan, it was inevitable. No more Cold War. No more secrets you keep from everyone but yourself. Operations you answer to no one but yourself. You wake up, the President of the United States is running the country without your permission. The son of a bitch, how dare he? <sighs> I was in a cafe waiting for you, Ethan. And there she was, standing in the rain, alive and beautiful, thinking I'm dead and gone. God knows what she's had to do to forget me, to keep going, to get the job done. She can't know about me, Ethan. No one can, not till this is over. You're probably right. The way this story's unraveling is pretty cool. So Ethan knows it's Jim, right? And he's just faking it, right? It's what it feels like. Oh. <laughs> Fake ass bullet train. <laughs> this was not what we discussed. My apologies, Max. Couldn't be helped. There's a piece of black cloth under your seat. Tear it away, you'll find the disc. Well, damn. Well, damn. That's cool as hell. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, why? The mere possibility is worth 10 million. Baggage car rack three. Silver briefcase combination three one four. What about Job? Wouldn't worry about him when you get the money. He'll find you. Is this Job right here? It's not transmitting. I try it, try it again. Damn it, I've got to get this through before we hit the channel. <laughs> I 
What's the problem? Connection denied. I can see that. Did you check the batteries? <laughs> batteries? He's in the baggage car. Kittridge is on the train. I'm right behind you. The one he's in the baggage car. The mystery of all this is uh, it's awesome. <laughs> This fucking guy is gonna fucking pick a lock right now. Ethan's right behind me. Listen, Jim. Oh. He said such a good idea to kill him. She is sus. Kittridge is here. We take the money. Ethan takes the blame. This is some bullshit, girlfriend. No one would believe him. <laughs> Don't kill her, please. That would be fucked up. Oh no! <laughs> Busted! Bitch. Master of disguise. Didn't see that one coming either. Nice job, Ethan. Of course, I'm very sorry to hear you say that, Claire. Ethan. <laughs> Ethan Hunt, darling. You remember him, don't you? Shit. Just exactly when he knew is something of a question. Mind telling me, Ethan? Before or after I showed up in London? Before London. But after you took the Bible from the Drake Hotel in Chicago. They stabbed it, didn't they? Those damn Gideons. If you knew about Jim, why? Why the masquerade? Why take the risk? You've asked the question, and you are the answer. <laughs> you. In all fairness, Ethan, Claire was never convinced her charms would work on you. But I was supremely confident, having tasted the goods. Oh, wow. That's what we're calling it now? You earned it. Ooh, that was a slap in the face right there. Old ten million. No, Claire was wrong about one thing, Jim. What's that? Mr. Phelps. I don't really want to see you alive. Oh, bitch. <laughs> don't, Jim. Don't, Jim. Oh, no! That's your wife, bud. Oh, God. Somebody's luggage just got fucked. Someone just got shot and you're worried about their luggage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, God damn it, I just bought this thing skincare and on somebody fucking shot it. <laughs> Get to the chopper! <laughs> oh shit. Oh, oh. god. Oh god! Whoa. Hell no! Oh, don't ah duck! Oh fuck, we're all ducking! <laughs> Traitor! Krieger sucks! Krieger sucks! You fucking asshole. Oh hell no. Oh hell no! <laughs> Are you joking? Yeah, by the way, I'm behind you. Hello, how's it going? <gasps> duck! Oh god! Bro, duck! You have to duck! Oh, there's a fucking I missed it! I'm dead! <laughs> I missed it! My head got friggin' knocked off. The facial expressions are very reminiscent of Tobey Maguire in Spider-Man. Dude, he must have an amazing grip. Holy shit. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> it's the music for me. Very Better 90s. Better fucking hurry up, dude! Very 90s action music. Oh, fucker. Oh, bitch! <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, oh, God. 
Deuces. Oh, what? Oh, I never would have thought of that. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that is a wild green screen right there. <laughs> Into us. Accelerate! Accelerate! Holy shit! <laughs> That's crazy! <laughs> I love how outrageous this is. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, 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 I mean, there's like 17 Mission Impossible movies, so obviously Ethan doesn't die right now. <laughs> it's still very nerve-wracking, though. It is! So it's very well done. Oh, this fucking guy. Oh, God. He's like, he's just like hanging on for dear life. He's like, can you not fuck with me right now? Oh, my God. Oh, my Ah! Yeah, you stupid ass oh, bitch. Oh, you fucked up. <laughs> the music. It's the music. <laughs> this is awesome. Dun -dun. Oh, he has more gum. Dun -dun. He has more gum. Wait. What the fuck? I love it. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Ah. Oh. Too close. Too close. Too close. Oh, oh motherfucker. Shit. Oh. Oh. Dude, that was an incredible action sequence. Thank God it didn't rock guy. backwards. Oh, God. <laughs> the train conductor's like, what the fuck? Oh, he's, he's out. He's out. <laughs> he too much for him. That was too much. In a freak accident, a helicopter lost altitude, veered into a tunnel. Yep, that's what it was. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what happened. Cheers. To you, Luther, for being off the disavowed list. Hey, I'm the flavor of the month. <laughs> Why don't you come back with me? Just don't know why I'd be doing it. I'm gonna miss being disreputable. <laughs> Would you like to watch a movie? I was sleeping. Aruba, perhaps. <laughs> it's like, I don't think I'm supposed to take no for an answer. I think you're yeah. supposed to listen to this. Yeah. That was fantastic. That was so fun. That movie was so cool, so fun. One of the things I really like, we've seen a lot of movies at this point that were considered older. And I love when a movie from like the early 90s or 80s hold up and are still awesome and entertaining today. Yes. Like all these years later. And this movie, like there's a couple silly looking things. But again, I think the movie came out in 96. Was it 96? I think it was 96. So For real? Yeah. Like, the, the Dang, fact that, like... We were, we were just teenagers. Yeah, then. we were oh. young. We were young. But, like, I love when it could hold up and still be really good in 2023. I do still like pointing out the funny stuff. Oh, because 100%. That's my job. But, like, I, I enjoyed this. I thought it was so much fun. The way they just built the story... And things went haywire on the very first job and you had to solve who was who and who was doing what and who yeah. was bad and all this stuff. And the way just Ethan as a character is really cool. Yeah. Like I love his confidence, his swagger, like his ability to like be master of disguise and the whole like he's got a lot of charisma about him to where like I loved the whole 
magic trick that he did when, he when it was coffee, like yeah. when it like got, but he didn't have the actual disc no and he like was he made it look so good yeah and was so confident about that play he made dude throw it in the trash he's like oh okay thanks i tricked you gotcha but like the train scene yep that was absolutely ridiculous in like the best most fun way possible like visually obviously you could tell like <laughs> it was not real <laughs> <laughs> but like what are you talking yeah, about it just that actually happens yeah <laughs> it's just when we like when we saw the first shot of the train i was like oh wow that okay that's like a model cool but it, it it's not the type of thing that would pull you out of the moment because it still felt really good yeah that whole sequence from the moment we got to the train to the end of that whole accident it was great. I love the sequence. The music was so good. I totally thought that the guy was going to die. <laughs> I told, Well, at first. Like, you know, like, I thought he was certainly going to have to, like, get, like, pulled down into the tunnel. Like, he's fucking dying. But the fact that he drove into the tunnel. Right. With the train. Still attached. <laughs> fantastic. I mean. 10 out of 10. I love, I love when there's action sequences that are just so impossibly fake and just completely like ridiculous looking. And I appreciate that so much because it's fun and it's like, but like there was these are action like, movies. It's what you want. Yes, but there was nothing like too wild where you're like, oh, I mean, okay, him flying a helicopter guy. behind a train in a tunnel is no. I mean that is wild, but like the other stuff, there there was a really good like flow where you weren't just like, where the fuck did he get that other totally. than killing the rat he didn't show that uh, yeah. i would like to know how he took care of it in the matter of milliseconds between doing that and dropping tom They're and trained. catching tom trained assassins and they all have very very sp particular it's like he skills. drops tom grabs the rat snaps his neck grabs tom again yeah piece of cake what? it's Bitch. easy no problem it's good stuff it's, though i liked it it's fun being able to see the context of certain things because, again, there are certain elements of this movie that I've seen. I mean, you probably too. Like, the music, obviously, iconic. Totally the music. Knew, just, knew yeah, that was a the thing. the music, absolutely. The, the scene where he falls and, like, like, I'd seen that in, like, a Twitter gif or something before. But I didn't know the, like, context of that moment. And what else was there? This message will self-destruct in five seconds. Like, that's something yeah. I've heard before. I've heard that. So, yeah. like, that kind of stuff, it's really cool to see that play out in context with the movie. It's like when we watched Alien. And, like, oh, that scene's from Spaceball. Okay. Yeah. Now you can connect the dots and be like, oh, okay, now you know the context of that. And having never watched these movies, I love being able to be like, oh, okay, that's what that's from. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I totally. like that. Appreciate it. Yep. And, again, it's one of those things when we're watching a movie from 96 all these years later, it feels like... There's so many different pieces of content that take inspiration from this. Yes. And this might have taken inspiration from something else. But like watching this movie, it felt like Ocean's Eleven. It, it did. It felt like National elements Treasure. of National Treasure. Yeah. Where, where they have like go on a hunt and they have to have, be doing like spy shit. It feels like there's a lot of stuff in there where there's definite like... I mentioned uh, Born Identity. Yeah. Like the Born movies. It felt like I, that I mean, was I've kind of inspiration based off of this. Those, but... They're fun. They're really good. Mm. Matt Damon. He's great. So. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. But yeah, it's one of those things where you watch something so many years later, you're like, oh, like that looked familiar to this other movie we saw. I, I love when that happens and you can kind of pinpoint certain things that are or are not maybe intentionally callbacks to the, to like a movie like this. But it feels like Mission Impossible, considering that there's a bunch of them, it feels like a really important franchise in the film world. Yeah. And I think that's pretty obvious because, again, Tom Cruise is linked to it. The cast in this movie was so good. There were so many recognizable faces. Oh, my God. Loved it. Yeah. And I thought, like, that's another really fun Bing. thing. yeah. That's another really, like, he doesn't look, like, he's aged. Is it, it, I mean, him, Tom Cruise, like, everyone in this movie. I'm sure I'm saying his name, so I'm well. pronouncing his name incorrectly. Is it Ving, Vin, Ving? Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I think it's Ving Rames, right? Yeah. Yeah. But, like, everyone in this movie is aged so well because, yeah, I mean, they all look amazing. But I, I thought that was so much fun, and it's just always so cool seeing something again from like many years ago and seeing it play out now so good loved it i thought that was so much fun and i asked them asked the question during the the movie like where have you been all my life mission impossible where you've been yeah right there waiting for us to watch so incredible loved it thought it was a blast yep. anything else no. all right y'all leave your comments we'll see you guys later for the next one have a good one bye